Yes. So for example, how could I convince you that pi is less than four? Well, I give you, no, sorry. How could I convince you that pi is not less than two? I would give you some evidence that convinces you. For instance, I could give you a good enough approximation of pi so that, I mean, assuming you'd see that actually is an approximation of pi, but once you have the evidence, you can say, oh, now I see why it is not less than two. So for instance, if I convinced you that the, the digit expansion of pi is 3.14 and then something, that's enough for you to believe now that pi is not less than two. Do you agree? Okay, so, so we can have evidence. That's Curry Howard, computational evidence that something holds. But we could also have this notion that there's counter evidence. But if there's counter evidence, now we should start to think about functional programming with counter evidence. So what will be counter evidence for functions? And so I'm not going to go into all the details, but the basic observation you should have is that it's going to flow in the other way. If you have counter evidence for B, you should be able to produce counter evidence for A, right? If A implies B, if B is false, A cannot be false, true. So it should be possible to translate counter evidence of A or B back to, so, so functions will really go like, it'll go, it'll go in both directions.